Hey there, if you're new here, new to me, new to the scene. My name is Mushy and welcome to Go Go Town. Go Go Town is a cozy life sim city builder game. You're the new mayor and it's your job to bring back life to this dusty little town. You'll construct shops, hire workers, and attract tourists. This game comes with the developer's prideful slot, who made Yonder and Grow. Both games I adore and I had so much fun playing. Right now, Go Go Town is really early in development, so this is only a super early pre-alpha demo. This is the first game where they really want community feedback, so join their Discord if you want to get involved in future play test, I'll have all the necessary links down below. I just want to do an overview of what the game is like so far and what the demo has to offer. So let's jump into it. When you first get into the demo, you are given a randomly generated character. The devs did confirm that character customization is coming at some point during development. So I decided to reset my game a few times just to get a vibe of what it has to offer so far. I did a few different playthroughs as well, so you might see some footage of a few different characters I landed on. Jumping into gameplay, let me just say, this game is so pretty. I am so in love with this cotton candy pastel world. I found myself getting distracted a lot while playing. You're then greeted by town co agents who will help you in setting up your very first shop. The demo has a few things already laid out for you, like tools to help you with resource collection and machines to help you process them into building materials. As you can see, this game focuses more on a visual inventory system. You can actually see all the items you're holding right on your back. This does mean we have a very limited pocket space. Thankfully, there are large storage bins we can use to hoard all of our things that also use the same visual system. It makes it a lot easier when you're looking for a very specific item. Once we collect the necessary building materials, we can turn those in to get construction underway. You'll then cut the ribbon and start designing. You'll hire a worker to run the shop for you, choose a fit out for the type of business you want to have, then pick the items you want the shop to sell. You'll need to gather the ingredients needed to keep the shop stocked, and as long as it is, it'll keep making you money. After building my first shop, I really wanted to take some time to explore the town a bit more. At the front of the town, you'll find the train station. This is how the tourists will visit, and they might not always be what you expect either. Some visitors will also have an icon above their head, meaning they want to move into your town. For the demo, you just need to greet them, but I am curious what sort of task we'll have to do in the future. I also found this cute little fishing shack where I had to do a little fishing myself. There's also a farm that's already full of produce that you can use for your shops. After I was done high-fiving the farm animals, I wanted to play around with the tools a bit, and I may have bullied some of the tourists. It's really easy to get distracted in this game. I decided to start working on my next few shops and jump into the build menu. I was honestly surprised with how many things there were this early in development. Different decor items to decorate my town with, the different shops to choose from, even terraforming options to manipulate the land. I'm honestly really excited to see how these features improve over time, and what new items will be added. Once you lay down the construction zone, it's going to be the same process as we did before. You'll gather the resources needed, craft them into building materials, deposit them into start construction, then choose the worker and fit out. It's a pretty easy process and I honestly had a lot of fun designing my town. If you're doing everything by yourself, things can get overwhelming. One of the cool features of this game is that you can hire workers to do tasks for you. You can hire a worker to gather resources like wood or stone, or you could have someone tend to your farm and water your crops, or maybe hire someone to gather all the trash your messy tourists leave everywhere. You can also hire a courier to do deliveries for you. The workers do move a little slower than you, so you might want to gather things yourself, but it's nice to have a helping hand. I also want to add that multiplayer will be coming to GoGo Town, so maybe you can hire some of your friends instead. We don't fully know the details of how this will work just yet, but I'm excited to learn more. For just a super early pre-alpha demo, this game has a lot to offer. I found myself really getting lost in the experience and just having fun. I love riding my unicorn bike around town and smack it into villagers. I love taking my time to decorate little areas and making the place feel like my own. I love seeing all the different wacky characters that came to visit as well. I'm honestly so impressed with this demo has to offer and I'm really looking forward to everything to come. Thank you so much Prideful Sloth for sending me an early access to the demo. I honestly had so much fun playing. If you guys want to get involved as well, please join the Discord to help with future playtests. They're really keen on feedback and suggestions, so if you have them, please throw it their way. Also, be sure to wishlist the game on Steam and really helps them with the Steam algorithm. Again, I'll have all those links listed down below so you can get involved. I am so excited for this game and I can't wait to play it with everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more cozy game content and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Subscribe.